Let's go, Chriso. Let's go, Chriso. This is the moment we've been waiting for, Chico. We've trained for this moment. Hours and hours on hours for you to get prepared for this slide. And now, we're here. Okay? Are you ready? I'm ready too. Chico, I want you to know I'm proud of you. This is a big step. One small step for dog, but one huge step for all dogs. Something like that. You know what I mean though, right? Y you get it. All right, well, let's do it. Hey. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who thought I was really gonna push Chico down the slide, shame on you. Shame on you. Y'all ready? He wanted to go with Chico too. He was like, where's Chico? All right, gotta, gotta go with Chico. You ready, Chico? All right, let's get it. Oh yeah. Here we go. Okay, two bottle girls and they walk in hand in hand. Huh, black chuggy white gang, it go hand in hand. Huh, big fake bully and it's make up. I can assure you no chicos were harmed in filming this video. Down and down, huh, going hand in hand. Yeah, that shit be hand in hand. B and B, bag of money hand in hand. Chill with my man Chico at the park, man. A bag of groceries. Another day, another meal. The first thing we're gonna start off with is our onion. Ooh. Onions. Starting off our onion rings with onions, obviously. So we're gonna give these a nice little cut. Let's get it. I gotta kinda stand up a little bit to cut this. I don't know really what made me want onion rings today. I just been kinda craving them. And I'm like, man, that is like the perfect kind of snack. And I just wanted them by themselves. So I was like, man, I couldn't even think of a place to go buy onion rings. So, once again, why buy it when you can make it? So we wanna start off getting some solid, straight rings right here. Cause this is like the whole meal. Okay, see that one I did? That one wasn't good. You don't, you don't want it to look like this. You want a, a full on ring. Let's get some quality rings. And it's all about your, your wrist. It's all in the wrist, you feel me? You gotta have a straight wrist to have a straight cut. Uh, I kinda messed up towards the end there. But look at these, you see? We getting our rings the way we need them. Hold on, another good one. So I'ma just try to find all the best ones and that's what we are gonna make. Onion number two. Listen, we've been talking for a while, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's only right that I take this relationship to the next level. Will you be my subscriber? Really? You would? Let me put this on your finger then. This is the official, unofficial chef subscriber ring. Put out your finger. Nice. Ooh, okay. I see you with the ring. Oh, let me get one for myself. You feel me? We locked in. We locked in. Shit, you see it, you see it. It's been about 50 on the thumb, about 20 on the index. The pinky actually, that shit was actually 85. You know what I'm saying? Real, real player shit, you feel me? I'm too rich. Rich, 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 Y'all see what's going on? Onion after onion after onion. Come on, look at that. Look at that, that's how we get them onion rings together. You feel me? Now listen, don't try this at home, all right? This is some professional stuff, all right? You gotta be a real unofficial chef to try this. Huh? That actually might have messed up the cut of my onion, actually. Ooh-wee! That is what your onions is supposed to look like. Look at these perfect rings. All right, that one a little small, but you know, I got some real perfect ones up in there. So now that our onions are onioning, we're gonna put these to the side and we're gonna take our chips. Yeah, our chips and our measuring cup. Now, I chose to use sour cream and onion chips. You can use whatever chips you want. I think what's recommended is plain chips. Plain, plain. <laughs> when I read that, I'm like, hold on, 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 hold on. We can't be doing no plain chips. We making onion rings, so naturally it only makes sense for us to have sour cream and onion chips. 
We're gonna take four cups of this. This is about two cups. Or, or a little more. You can't even blame me for snacking on this. Like, <laughs> I got to. Mm. Sour cream and onion is my favorite kind of chips, all right? Favorite kind of chips. The purple bag Doritos are the best Doritos, but as far as like flavor wise, I think sour cream and onion is my favorite. So we pour that right into our bowl. We're gonna get two more cups. Once our chips are all in the bowl, we just mash these up. And the best way to mash up chips, in my opinion, is cayenne pepper. Now we just add a little bit of that into our chips and give that a mix so we can add some spice. You know what I'm saying? We love a little spice in here. And me, I like extra spice. So, you know, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a little bit more than normal. Season two, perfection. Now that our chips are good, we're gonna toss that to the side. We're gonna bring our bowl. It's time to get that buttermilk involved. So now we're gonna take a cup of buttermilk, all right? Buttermilk, buttermilk. <laughs> you do a cup of that. Yeah, that's about a cup right there. Now we're gonna use this bowl. We're gonna take our buttermilk and put it right in the bowl. Buttermilk in the bowl, Hey. Now we're gonna season this bad boy because this is gonna be a lot of our flavor. So you know we're gonna bring out salt and pepper. It's natural. So I'm just gonna eye it, throw a little salt in there, a little pepper in there. Now we take the flour. So what this buttermilk does is it works as like a glue for our onion rings, right? And this flour is gonna help it stick a little bit more. So we're just gonna take two table, man, I don't got flour everywhere. We're gonna take two tablespoons of this. All right, I already put one tablespoon in, two. Now we just mix this all up. Actually, let me get my mixer. Let me get my mixer. If I'm gonna have a mixer, I'm gonna use it now. Get that a nice mix, nice mix. This next part requires a plastic bag. We need to get a little Ziploc bag, right? And we're gonna put a half cup of flour in here. All right, about a half cup right there. And we're gonna put that in the bag. Yo, you got the money? Of course I got the stuff. Stop playing with me, son. Show me the money. I'll show you, all right? That's what I got, all right? That's pure right there. Stop playing with me, that's like pure. Show me the money. Come on. Show me the money. Yo, you playing, bro, you playing. So we got our bag. We're gonna take this, and we're gonna take our onions and toss the onions into the bag. Easy peasy, we're just gonna put, ooh. Try not to break the rings like I just did, but we're gonna put all these in the bag. Yeah, every single one of them in the bag. And once they all in there, you're gonna close this up like this, and then you just shake it. These are coated nicely. Looking at that fire. Come on, man. Now we're gonna take our baking pan. Oh, almost dropped it. Then we're gonna take some foil. Cause these bad boys is going in the oven. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We got our coating system here. So we're gonna take the onions that is in the flour, we're gonna dip it in our glue, which is our flavored glue that we made, dip it into the crumbs, place it on the sheet, man. Easy peasy. Let's get this system popping. So first we're gonna dig in here, find ourselves a good one, throw it in our mix, yep. Then we throw it in our crumbs. Let's get more crumbs on top of that, boom. Flip it around a couple of times, make it dance. Then we take that out, put it right next to the rest. Then we just rinse and repeat, baby. Yeah, yeah. Sour cream and onion, onion rings. Well, actually, I think that'd be sour cream and onion rings. Ooh, all right. I'm preheating the oven to 450. We're gonna throw these bad boys in the oven for 450 for just 20 minutos. 20 minutos. Okay. Okay, it's that time. It's that time. So we're going to put them in the oven at 454. 20 minutes. And it's time. Okay, so they came out a little extra crispy. 
a little too crispy. I should have looked at them while they were in here, but I just waited the whole 20 minutes. But these up here look kind of, you know, smooth, but damn. You know, that's just part of being an official, unofficial chef. You know, sometimes they ain't going to come out 100% correct. <laughs> these first few still might be valid, so we're going to see what's up. Hey, but that's a good lesson as a chef. Now we know. Check the oven, you know, periodically before the time that it's supposed to be done because you never know if your stuff is gonna cook a little faster like obviously these cooked a little faster so we got an extra crispy ring right here let's see what it's hitting for hey the taste is there definitely way too crispy instead of 20 minutes i probably could have kept this in there for like 15 minutes maybe even 10 minutes but the flavor is there. I would definitely make these again and uh, make sure they're not so crispy. <laughs> uh, looking for it.